Welcome into Soda City Living. I'm Madeline Stewart. Joining us today is our friend Emily Blanchard, owner of Tasty is Fit in Columbia. Thank you so much for being here. You're so welcome. It's so good to be back. Great to have you. Obviously, we have a lot of delicious <laughs> things in front of us, and I am really excited for cooler weather. I know I'm not the only one because you've been prepping all we're of there. this. We're almost there. Yes. If Columbia's not teasing us, I think we're in it. Yes. <laughs> Tell us what we've got over here. Yeah, so we're in football. Yes. Fully. And, um, you know, lots of tailgates. We're about to hit party season. So I just wanted to bring something that's like perfect. It's warm. It's hearty. It's something that no one will know is plant-based or gluten-free. Yes. Um, so it's just a take on a cheesy spinach dip. This is it right here, and I'll have you dive in and take a bite in a second and give me your honest spinach. Yes, I, I'll say I can smell it from over here. I mean, it, it smells really so good. Funny. This is perhaps, so we do a lot of special orders of these at the store because it is something that you can take anywhere, and you know you're getting good ingredients in right. and giving it to other people. Yes. And so you're not sacrificing on taste. Because like sometimes you don't want to be the girl showing up with like a hummus platter, you know? Right. You want to still have something healthy. Exactly. Um, so yeah, honestly, it's pretty easy. It's a bunch of <laughs> opening things and stirring. And then the hardest part of this is probably the cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. And it's still very easy. So all Great. you need is a high speed blender. Um, we have some soaked cashews, which you just soak overnight, soak for a few hours. Just with water? With water. Okay. Um, leave it on your counter if it's for a few hours, leave it in the fridge if you're doing it overnight. Okay. We have some um, unflavored plant-based yogurt. You can use anything. This is um, cashew yogurt. Okay. And the trick to making this um, orange is some steamed carrots, ah. uh, steamed onion, and garlic. And then there's a tablespoon. You could use vegan butter. If you're not plant-based, you can use butter mm -hmm. um, or ghee or anything like that. So that is that. And then honestly, salt, pepper. Um, if you want to add spice, you can add a dash of sriracha. I added it into the dip already. Okay. Um, but then we blend this and watch. I am, I'm so <laughs> curious about this one. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Isn't that crazy? It is. And then here, I'll make sure I don't get the Oh my gosh, it really does look dust. like, <laughs> it looks like a cheese sauce. It does, I mean, and with the ghee or the butter, or whatever you do decide to use, it that helps too. I did forget to add that lemon juice in there, so. <laughs> we'll stir it all up, it'll be stir good. Stir it on up, and then you literally just pour it into um, the bowl. And in this bowl, so this is just like the separate ingredients, so it takes mm -hmm. no time. We have a vegan cream cheese, again, use whatever you like. Chopped spinach, you can also use frozen if that's all you have. A can of Rotel, which most people have in there. Already, tree. yes. Anyway. Yes. And you stir, you pour this in if you want to. Sure. Isn't that crazy? It is, and you know, I love fall because it's the start of that comfort food I know. season. You really do, your body craves yes. something a little heartier. Um, warming, you know, all the things. But what we don't like is sometimes how we feel after eating right. that comfort well, food. You know, but and obviously it's I'm so great to do, you know, occasionally, but when, you know, party season hits, we're, yeah. what are we, every weekend and every weekday. So it is nice to be able to have an option that, um, it doesn't leave you feeling too bad. Exactly, and that everybody can eat, you know. Yeah, exactly, yep. you, you never have to worry. Um, and then after you do this, and after you stir it on up, you just add salt, pepper um, to your liking. You'll pour it into a pan that can go safely into the oven. Um, I used a cast iron, and you bake it at 400, and um, Super easy, look at minutes. that. Take it warm to your party, and you'll, I promise you, people request this. It smells you'll so good, <laughs> and like you said, it's not hard to make. It's no. very simple. It takes a little bit of it's prep. It's a little intimidating with the blender. People don't like to whip out a blender, but yeah. honestly, it's so easy. I mean, if you think about it, a lot of recipes use maybe a hand mixer or a KitchenAid right. mixer. Swap that out for the blender. Right. Just think about it. It's 100%. basically the same thing. Yeah. And um, you know, the best thing about it is if you only want to go as far as the cheese sauce, you can use that as a mac and cheese sauce and add it to your kids' noodles. Oh my gosh. Put your broccoli in it. Yeah. So wow. if you want to go halfway, you can. Yeah, so what do you say we give it a yes, try? Please, I'm so excited. Please. Here. Also, these chips to not ruin your healthy um, dish. Yeah. These are by a brand called Siete and they're super clean, made with avocado oil. Oh, and, interesting. Um, yeah. Mm. Is that good? That is so yummy. Is it good? It's really good. Nice and warm, and when you know it's piping hot in the oven, it's like super cheesy from mm -hmm. the cream cheese, and it's just really good. 
Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Good. So tell us a little bit about Tasty is Fit. You create all of these recipes. Yes, yes, believe it or not. Um, yeah, so we've been in business about um, six years. <laughs> and like fully, uh, we started as meal prep, but when we started as grab and go, it's been about six years. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I um, my main role now is just staying on and creating all the recipes and um, you know, have an incredible team that runs it day to day. And so it's been, it's been really amazing, but everything is plant-based and gluten-free. Yes. Um, and we don't use any weird oils or anything like that. Um, we're kind of annoying about it. So we no, I love that. Everything we make is from scratch. Yes. Is, it is wonderful. And every time I go in, you list the ingredients on yeah. all of the products so you can rest assured you're not going to ruin your diet right. and you're going to get something delicious too. Right. And um, you do have a lot of recipes online as well. Yes. We post, I would say 99% of our um, recipes or the ones that I'm creating go online too. So tastiestfit.com, there's a little tab that says Emily's recipes and you can find them all there. Wonderful. This one is on there. Yes. Thanks so much for being here. Yes, of course. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back back here on Soda City Living.